Hi Alettes! Welcome back to our channel. I have a mini Walmart bead haul for you guys. But before I do the Walmart beads, I want to show you guys how I actually store my beads that I already have. So I have these container that I bought from, I believe I got these from the thrift shop. I've had them for a long time um, before I knew about Michaels and you know um, Walmart. I used to go to my uh, local thrift shop and buy a bunch of these little containers because I used to store my craft items when I was big into crafts. I still am but I used to have more of my craft items in here before I started making more of my junkie charms. But I just wanted to show you guys how I actually store them so this big container over here is where I store most of my Walmart beads and I love these beads because of the bling on them I just love these so much and I use these on almost all of my chunky charm because they just give the charm that extra flair and then I have another container over here where I keep my smaller like lighter color beads then I have this one here where I keep like my um, green blues uh, sorry green and um orange and yellows in here and some blacks and then over here I keep my red and my blues in this container I try to separate them but a lot of times you know it's like you, you can't keep your beads all in one place because I'm taking them out I'm putting them back in so I try to keep them as organized as I can but this is not going to last very long so I just wanted to share with you guys how I actually keep the beads so over here is where I keep my tools I get this little container from the Dollar Tree and I put all my tools that I use because they're easy for me to grab and put them back when I am done so let me also show you guys where I keep my smaller beads so I got this container from uh, Michaels and this was $30 and I actually like it because it has wheels on it and I can roll it back and forth from my craft room into my bedroom. Today I'm actually going to be crafting on my bed because my RA is acting a little funny. I didn't feel like sitting up on my chair in my craft room so I could be more comfortable on my bed. But anyways, this is the little... Um, a rolly card that I got from Michaels and it has this top right here. It's kind of like metal. So you can put stuff on the top. I'll show you this in a second. But it just has these pull out drawers and uh, on here. I got some of these little um, like lipstick holder from the Dollar Tree and I keep my smaller like C beads in here. This is also from the Dollar Tree. It's just a, like a tackle box. And I keep my, uh, my jump rings in here because I use this constantly. So I keep it up on the top, um, the top drawer. So here is my where I keep my um, my uh, and my chains for my chunky charms. This here is also from the Dollar Tree, and this is a good size because I keep my 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 um, head pins and my eye pins in here, and I'm running low, so I need to get more. So that's where I keep my um, the stuff that I need all the time. Down here, I have some more of these Dollar Tree containers, and I keep like my um, you know my other. Uh, beads that I can find easily and I like these glass acrylic containers because I can see what I have and back here there's some more beads um, some some um, some glitter for when I put them in the little bottles I'm running low on the bottles also I placed an order on wish waiting for that um, my, I have a grand nephew so I asked my sister to keep all of the empty uh, baby jars because I keep my charms in in these down here I just have some more random beads in here this is what Miss Mary sent to me thank you Miss Mary because I am using this um, a lot um, she sent me a bunch of charms and some beautiful little flowers I'm going to be making paper clips with that I have another container here that I got from uh, the thrift shop that I have some um, just some glass beads in here different colors one more of the um, little baby jar and then here are the beads that I usually get from Walmart these are two dollars and I keep them in the packet and I just throw them in this drawer right here so I can reach for them and then take them out and just keep them um, together I try to like separate them and put them in you know like all the greens in one spot but I think for me it's just easier to just have them in the original package and grab them put them back in here down here is where I keep my gold items and back there are some more silver items, some glitter to put in the bottles and then down there are empty because the ones I showed you guys earlier they do fit 
down here so when I close them up I stick them in here I put it in the corner and I am done with this so up here this is this little thing I got from the thrift shop and this is where I keep um, the charms that I'm working on so right now I am working on this lilac and bling or silver charm so it is not complete but I am in the process of finishing this one up so I just put like beads that I'm using right now I hang this this I think this is just like a jewelry uh, jewelry case um, jewelry holder thing but I like this little thing right here because I can you know move it around and is this focused yeah I can move it I can easily take it off and put it back on and it hangs it hangs pretty um, you know well so I can work easily on there these are the little rings that I have to have when I'm uh, opening and closing my jump rings so that's just this little container that I keep my beads on there so let me go ahead and show you what I bought from Walmart um, the extra beads that I got to complete some of my orders okay so I have the receipt right here to tell you guys how much I paid for them so I'm just going to move the bag over here and I'm just going to pull some random stuff out of there. So the first one are these and these are the Design By Me beads. I love getting my beads from Walmart to be honest with you guys. It's not a, it's a pretty inexpensive. It is pretty pricey but not as much as you would pay at like uh, Michaels or Joann's or anything. So I got this. This is the Design By Me and this is like the bling in black and white zebra um, stripe charm. Um, beads not charms beads hopefully this is focusing and there's about 20 beads on here and this one here was four dollars so here is this one I found these beads these beads are pretty heavy they're like a, a heavier glass bead and this is in a darker blue and this one here was also four dollars and it's by design by me and you get a lot more on here, but they're not as um, sparkly as the other ones. So here is how these look. And I did get an order for something in this color. So I will be making that. Uh, I got two of the one I just showed you. So here is this one. And whenever people ask me for bling on their charm, this is what I usually use because it just gives that extra sparkle and I just love the way it looks on the charms. There is a black one. And this one also has like the zebra stripe beads, but they're in a darker black and white. So here is the black ones. And this one was $4 also, and about 20 beads on there. Um, here are some multicolor ones. I actually went there to get purple beads because I am s almost out of purple beads. I think I bought all of them, but I am like running so low on purple beads because I had a lot of orders for purple. I think purple is like a popular color right now. And I am running low, so I'm going to have to make another trip to Walmart and to Michaels to try to get some more purple beads. And the one that glows, guys, I couldn't find any of those. And that's the main reason why I went back there to get those. But there weren't any. I was so disappointed. I got another one of the same thing in the multicolor. But they only have like one of each color on here. Also $4. I found the blue ones, but I didn't find the purple one. This is what I went in there to get the purple glow in the dark beads, I call them, because they definitely look like they're glowing when the light hits it. And this one here was $3. You don't get a lot, but I just love the way it looks. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the way it looks on the other beads. It just look like it's in a class of its own. The only purple bead I found were these, like glass beads. And they're not as big as I would love for them to be. So I like my beads to be about this size. This is a good size to use for chunky charms. But here are the um, the purple ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. If it's showing you the um, how beautiful they are. But here is the purple one that I got. And I think there's one more in here. 
And this one here is just the packet, packet beads. And I got this in pink and this was $2. So here's all the beads I got. Just wanted to share really fast before I get into making. And I have a lot of Chunky Charms to make today. And I'm going to be working on that today and tomorrow. Hopefully I can post a video by Sunday and let you guys know how many I've had um, how many I've done and I will be sending invoices to everyone because I would love for you guys to get your charms by next week. Um, I don't believe I will be posting a unboxing today. I will do one tomorrow. So enjoy your day and I will see you guys soon. Like, comment, and subscribe and stay fabulous. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Take care.